This is a very historic stadium. 22 world records have been set here. We've had just about every great American athlete and a whole number of international athletes that have competed here. Mount San Antonio College, the Mount Sac Relays have played really an amazing role in the development of the United States Olympic track and field history. Everyone that's been involved with this project has really taken it personally. I've seen the care and the craftsmanship of the construction team and it's really the focus of quality on the workmanship that's been extraordinary. You want to make sure you do the best you can do because other people are going to be seeing it and, and, uh, and when they see it like this they wonder wow who did this you know. When you're actually there doing the work you take a little bit more pride I think. We're actually the ones doing the job and you know others can say you know what I designed that building and you pass by and you say well you know what we painted that building you know and take a little bit more pride in your work. When you come to this project for the first time most people are in awe. They go wow this thing's huge. The, the vantage point from the main stadium is really unique. So no matter where you sit, you can see the entire track. I went to school here 40 years ago, so I have a personal connection to the school, and it's really special for me to come back 40 years later and be a part of this project. I'm a union iron worker. I work for McMahon Steel, and we did all the structural beams, all the skeleton in the building, all the welding. You know, it was about 30 of us to be able to handle this job, and one day I'll be able to sit down and and watch you know, an event here, knowing that I built this place. It's not just a livelihood, it's a, how can you say, it's doing it for the glory also. These kind of stadiums are really cool because everybody gets to see your work when you're done. It's like thousands of people will come through and admire your work and sometimes end up on TV. It's always a plus when you can see your work being enjoyed by others. I'm local raised, I was born and raised out here in, in the area, so uh, being able to work at home on a college that my kids will go to, you know, my friends have gone to. It always makes it more special and, and uh, more local. Second time I worked on a project on Mount Sac and I, I pretty much love coming here. We actually had a couple uh, construction employees that uh, went to this uh, school and ultimately at the beginning of the day they would, they would work until they had class and then came back to work. They loved it. Uh, it was a sad day to see them go. It's just real nice to see ultimately uh, other guys in the industry still trying to better themselves and uh, obviously they chose Mount Sac. Just to be a part of it uh, all together, it, it just gives you some sense of pride and you know you want to leave uh, leave the best job you can leave uh, behind and look forward to seeing it occupied in the future. Just the amount of time and work it takes from all of us, uh, trade contractors, the management side, uh, Mount Sac side, the amount of work and effort that we put into this complex to give them such a quality product, it, uh, you don't realize how much time and effort it takes. And, uh, the end result that what everybody sees is what we're striving for, the absolute best. There is quite a bit of complexity in this type of a structure that is very critical. There are multiple buildings here in this complex. Where I'm located right now, where I'm standing, will be a future aquatic center. and. Um, my youngest son is a long distance swimmer, so there will, be, there will be members of my family that will use this at some point over the years. We're building something that possibly my grandchildren, my great grandchildren will be using. I think it's just an amazing thing that, to, ha to build something for so many futures and knowing you're a part of making that happen, I think is awesome. This structure itself, it, it was an awesome structure. I'm glad to be a part of it and uh, it was a very challenging structure to get done. So uh, just seeing the whole project coming together and see the finished product, that's uh, very gratifying to see. I think thank you isn't enough, isn't strong enough for the amount of attention and pride that they have in building such an amazing facility. I just have an immense level of appreciation for all of those workers and the time and energy they put into building this facility. To the student athletes and students who are going to be part of this project and use it for years to come, I just say appreciate it and, and embrace certainly the amount of work and effort that went into building this and the amount of support that the college has. I was very excited to find out that I was actually ended up doing the plumbing here at Mount Sac for the new stadium. I came here and started uh, working out with the soccer team until I actually ended up signing a pro contract with Newcastle United in the Premier League. I credit most of all here to Mount Sac and their coaches and their training crews that got me to where I needed to be. So that's why it's an honor to be here and working on this stadium. 
Hilmer Lodge, our first track and field coach and the board of directors at the college at the time, saw a need to have a, a, a stadium. Hilmer started off the whole idea of Mount Sac being a service to the sport of track and field and that continues today or at least we like to think that it continues today and I think this brand new stadium that brings us into the 21st century with so many amenities continues that idea of service to the sport of track and field and again it's Mount San Antonio College, it's the board of the directors, it's the president, it's the track and field staff. Their whole goal is to continue to be a place that the best in the world continue to come every April here at Mount Sacramento.